These two women have very similar names. Amber Gray, A-M-B-E-R-G-R-A-Y. Amber, A-M-B-R-A, Gray, G-R-A-Y. But they didn't know each other existed until a stolen car and a clerical error created quite a bit of confusion and trauma on Tuesday. I feel like I'm still in shock and haven't processed fully what happened. On Tuesday, Amber Gray was pulled over by Noblesville police. Body camera shows officers draw guns and point them at Amber's car with her and her daughter inside. Officers then direct Amber to get out of her car. Amber is then put in handcuffs the entire time she has no idea what's going on. Absolutely terrifying. But police believe, based on the information they had, that they were pulling over a stolen car with a stolen firearm inside. Lieutenant Bruce Barnes says officers followed protocol for the situation and information that they were given. Under those set of circumstances, with a stolen vehicle, a stolen weapon involved, our first goal is to accomplish control of the scene. Once Amber is handcuffed, Noblesville officers and Amber start to figure out the small misunderstanding that led to this traumatic event. And apparently this was a mistake, is what I'm being told, a typo. Turns out Amber Gray had called Monday to report her car with her gun inside stolen on the east side of Indy. Somehow when she was giving 911 her information, they took her name down wrong. No, it's not Amber, it's Amber. Leading to Amber Gray's car information being entered in as stolen instead of Ambra's. An error that wasn't resolved until after Amber had been pulled over and cuffed the next day. When they told me the, the uh, make and model of the car, I was like, that's not my car. IMPD Lieutenant Shane Foley says they're still working to figure out exactly how this happened, but it is possible to make this mix up with a caller and someone who has a similar name and similar vehicles. Both cars are Hyundais. It could happen where uh, just an oversight occurs and the wrong vehicle is identified as being the one that's stolen. Amber is left hoping this doesn't happen again. I don't understand how this happened and why and what I'm supposed to do. Foley says IMPD is sorry this happened to her. Police have made sure the correct information on Ambra's actual stolen car is in the system. As far as this happening again, he says officers and control operators are busy, so mistakes can happen, but officers need to pay attention to details. In Indianapolis, Eric Graves, Fox 59 News. Eric, thank you. Amber Gray is hoping officers can also take more time to make sure these mistakes don't happen in the future, whether that's when taking down information from people or pulling over potential suspects. Lieutenant Barnes with the Noblesville PD says they don't always have time for additional investigation when they're in the process of making a traffic stop on a potentially stolen vehicle.